Doc, you ready? Good evening. Welcome to the October 18th, 2022 meeting of the Roseland Governing Body. Adequate notice this meeting is provided in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act and that the date, time, and location of the meeting were included in the annual meeting schedule, posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building, and filed in the office of the borough clerk. For those attending tonight's meeting via Zoom, the agenda and any other relevant documents can be found on the borough's website, attached to the meeting notice posted in the news and announcement section. During the meeting, an announcement will be made prior to the two public comment periods. Anyone wishing to make a public comment via computer will be instructed to use the raise your hand icon. Anyone wishing to make a public comment via telephone will be instructed to dial star nine at the appropriate time. For those in attendance in person or remotely, please provide your name and address for the record when selected. Mr. Walker, could you please call the roll? Mayor Spango. Present. Mr. Barty. Here. Mrs. Fishman. Here. Mr. Frida. Mrs. Parati. Mrs. Tolley. Here. Mr. Trillo. Here. Councilman Parati's with us via Zoom. So. I'm here. I'm sorry. It was on mute. Okay. Uh, please rise for the flag scoop. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic of the two states, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One much chair, right? I mean, there's not first on the agenda yeah. is our first round of public comment. Any member of the public wishing to be heard, come forward, state your name and address for the record. If you're with us via Zoom, use the raise your hand icon, and you're with us telephonically, please press star nine at the appropriate time. Hi, my name is Shana Toscano. I live at 18 Condit Court. It looks a little different in here since I was last year. Whoever did the artwork, it looks great. The painting, the book. Um, I just want to tell you guys, I had a wonderful time at Roseland Day, um, especially with the Cornhole Tournament. And whoever was in charge of putting that together did a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Shana. Thank you. Yeah. Right, anyone via Zoom? No. All right, first, uh, we're going to have we have a number of presentations. First, we'll have our first proclamation. Director Matthias, you can come forward with me, please. Thank you. 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 Thank how many years with us, bro? Eight months here. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> it's just 25 years, which is all that really matters. Um, we, have, we have a uh, tradition here where uh, an outgoing police officer is gifted his his weapon, which Director Matthias has with us, which it's not loaded. We'll just show it and then we give it to him at a later time. Um, it's, it's something that most of our officers like to, to take with them uh, if, for recognition of their service to the borough. But I'm going to ask uh, Director Matthias to, to read the proclamation for uh, Lieutenant Max. Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Ryan Maglio. Mm -hmm. Or as the mayor, the council of the borough of Roseland wish to express special recognition to Lieutenant Brian Maglio and honor him for his 25 years of service to the borough of Roseland Police Department. Whereas prior to his career with the Borough of Roseland, Lieutenant Brian Maglio served in the United States Air Force. Whereas on January 1st, 1998, Lieutenant Brian Maglio was sworn in as patrol officer. Whereas during his tenure, Lieutenant Brian Maglio was promoted to sergeant on November 11, 2005, Lieutenant on September 20, 2011, and also served as tactical officer, arson investigator, internal affairs officer, and special event coordinator. Whereas Lieutenant Brian Maglio has proven himself to be a valuable asset to the borough of Roseland with his vast knowledge of the police department, and whereas the borough of Roseland is extremely fortunate to have, have Lieutenant Brian Maglio serve our police department and his dedication to his work and our citizenship and our citizens is appreciated. Whereas this proclamation is presented to Lieutenant Brian Maglio to serve as a reminder that although he has retired, he will always be remembered as a valuable valued employee dedicated to both his position and our community. And now, therefore, I, Mayor James Spango, 
Mayor, all the complaints if you want to do that. That's my point of view. Mayor of Roseland, New Jersey, and on behalf of the governing body and the citizens of Roseland, to hereby present this proclamation to Lieutenant Brian Maglio as a testimonial to the faithful and dedicated service which he has performed throughout his career and all the best wishes for continued success and happiness in the future. Brian, but also like when you're standing up here, I'd like to present you with your service weapon. Well deserved. It's been a pleasure having you serving with you. And we'll be missed. We're the last it for I just want to uh, thank the mayor and council personally. Uh, it's been a it's been a great journey all these years. Uh, I've worked with a lot of great people. A lot of fellow brothers and sisters, a lot of long nights, long days, <laughs> and the citizens. I want to thank the citizens as well. We, uh, it's really just been a great journey, and uh, I don't know what else to say. It's, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. So, thank you. I believe for Tim Maglu, and I'd like to, to not notice something also. Um, especially to the kids in the room. Everyone sees a police officer and they think they just carry a gun and they go out and they do all this stuff. But the, the profession has diversified itself. We, he was our IT specialist. So it's not just protecting the public and, and, and you know, locking up the bad guy or stopping the guy speeding. There's a lot more of an intellectual aspect to it. And he was our go-to IT person. We still don't know what's going on. There's computers that we can't get going since he's been gone. But <laughs> we congratulate him and thank him for taking the extra step of going public. Fair, I will do a consulting fee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, pictures of the town, please. You want to go in front of the seal? Yes. Brian, you pull double duty. <laughs> Question. Jimmy, he went out to the hallway. Do you have any music we can play or something while we're in? Yeah. <laughs> the Yankees, still five one. Still five one last I checked. And as a Met fan, like I said, I'm rooting for you guys. I'm not, okay. not one of those fans. I'm good with it. We went up to seven one. So we'll say seven. Five one. Still five one. Top of the ninth. Top of the ninth. Wow. All right. You said soccer last week. Soccer's seven thirty. But now it doesn't matter. Everything else is fine. So I just have to wait until after. Better There's two soccer. Right? Uh, three, four, four, four. No, there only, should only be one soccer. Girls, sophomore, third, fourth grade soccer. Spirit. There's two wiffle ball. There's a They're kickball. To to the wiffle ball. Okay, that's really cool. Sure. All right. If we could have Director Kalidi asked that we do this, groups come up. If we could have the fifth and seventh grade Whipple Bowl champions, the blue team. If anyone's here from the blue team, don't worry, we'll get you a better team name next year. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the best time. So, um, 
co-ed fifth and seventh grade kickball, Orange Crush. Who's here from the Orange Crush? Come up. Definitely a few of them. <laughs> and the Purple People Eaters, spring co-ed wiffle ball. That's so much. I think it's just a kickball. Yeah. Who's here from the wiffle ball? Who wiffle ball are the surroundings, I believe, right? No, the purple. Blue team, right hand, blue team. Oh, they're all looking at They're all kickball. Orange Crush. To the Our superintendent, Joe Leon, with us, can come up also. Come on, superintendent, go to the territory. You're here till seven. More kickball. Orange brush. Nice, nice cross representation. Uh, all right, so as the rec liaison, take your pictures while you want. But uh, as the rec liaison person, Mike came to us with some ideas of doing some new programs, wiffle ball and kickball. For those of you who are in the room, know it's been a great addition to the to the community, uh, <laughs> along with the snack shack and what goes on. It's just part of that whole small town feel and everything else. It's it's true recreation. No one's getting red cards. No one's yelling. There's no, no one arguing the calls. It's low intensity, low level competition, but the kids love it, and it's it's really a lot of fun. So uh, we hope to see it keep going. The grown up kickball is a little more competitive. You know, <laughs> you can't say the same thing. But the kids, it's a lot of fun. So congratulations, guys. Good group of boys. Good job, guys. Okay. We're doing all that school presentation. Yeah, it's 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 the 2001 Junior Olympics. Um, that's Jackson here. This is Nolan. Nolan. Leonardo. Leo's here. Leo's here. Leo's here. Leonardo. Leo's here. Congratulations, Leonardo. A lot of trophies you've gotten out of yeah, you it. Know, <laughs> talented, talented. Soccer shootouts, this, that, the other. Did you win the soccer shootout this last week, too? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You're a returning champion, my bad. Keep it up. Is here? Mason? All right, we're good. Thank you, anybody? <laughs> we're leaving on your screen. Purposeful. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you present. I'm going to let you present. First, it's Alex. All right. Oh, she's not. Right. I'd like to congratulate uh first and second grade uh boys and girls junior olympics first grade boys uh nolan Paulius. first uh and then first second grade girls is emma barty it's your trophy the last thing you want to yeah and then she's now a third grade so she's all right let's <laughs> 
The Yankees won. This is in my this is in my trophy. Ivan, Ivan, horn holes Second place, second horn holes trophy. Second, that's first place. That's first place. It's on the protest. So, all right. Thank you. Good job. 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 Good Soccer team to yeah, have that West Essex. They're at the high school game. Yes. Yankees. <laughs> and the, Jimmy, you can check your phone. You can make the announcement official if you. No, I don't care. The Yankees. The Yankees. Done. Yeah. Done. I said yeah. five hours rain last night. How how quick are they? When are they going to be here? One, well, they were told seven thirty to be here. So, so what, what, some what, of them are here, but there's definitely some girls coming. So why don't we do uh, the tax bill? We'll Thank you. I agree. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move the agenda around. We're gonna put off the tax bill presentation, which I'm sure none of you want to sit through that. Uh, we'll go through our ordinances and then come back to soccer when the rest of the soccer teams are here. Uh, first on the agenda is Ordinance 17-2022. Mr. Watkins, please read the ordinance by title only. An ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter Four of the Revised General Ordinances of the Borough of Roseland, entitled Licensing and Business Regulations. Adding new section 4 14 entitled Block Parties Permit Required. Is there a motion to introduce Ordinance 17 2022? So moved. Second. 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 Party Trillo, all Aye. in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Sorry, Junior, I'm going. Opposed? Hearing and seeing none. Ordinance number 17 2022 will be posted on the borough's website. Notice of public hearing will be published in the progress. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Next on the agenda is Ordinance 18-2022. For introduction, Mr. Watkins, please read the ordinance by title only. Bond ordinance amending and providing a supplemental appropriation of $429,000 for Section 3B1 of Bond Ordinance Number 15-2022. Finally adopted September 20th, 2022. For 2022 road improvements in and by the borough of Roseland in the county of Essex, New Jersey, and authorizing the issuance of $407,550 of bonds or notes of the borough to finance part of the cost thereof. Is there a motion to introduce Ordinance 18 2022? So moved. Second. Fishman Trill, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Hearing and seeing none. Ordinance number 18-2022 will be posted on the borough's website. Notice of public hearing will be published in the progress. Public hearing will be held on Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Thank you. Next is an, a public hearing on adoption of Ordinance 16-2022. Mr. Watkins, please read the ordinance by title only. An ordinance of the borough of Roseland to repeal ordinance number 7-2022 as amended, which provided for salaries and compensation to be paid to non-union employees of the borough of Roseland and substitute, therefore, salaries and compensation for the year 2022. Is there a motion to open the public hearing? Motion to open. Second. Holy Parati, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Hearing and seeing none, does anyone wish to be heard on public hearings of Ordinance 16-2022? Hearing and seeing none, we have a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Fishman Vardy, all in favor? Aye. 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 Hearing and seeing none, Mr. Watkins, please read the ordinance by title only. An ordinance of the Borough of Roseland to repeal ordinance number 7-2022 as amended, which provided for salaries and compensation to be paid to non-union employees of the Borough of Roseland and substitute, therefore, salary and compensation for the year 2022. Is there a motion to adopt? Motion. Second. Barty Fishman. Roll call vote, please, Mr. Watkins. Barty. Yes. Mrs. Fishman. Yes. Mrs. Parati. Yes. Mrs. Tolley. Yes. Mr. Crow. Yes. Ordinance number 16-2022 will be advertised in the progress 
as a past ordinance and shall take effect as provided by law. Thank you. Next is the approved resolution 279-2022, approving the October 14th bill list. Everyone received the bill list for questions, concerns, recusals. Yep. Hearing and seeing none, do we have a motion to approve the October 14th, 2022 bill list? So moved. Second. Party Trillo, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Hearing none. Next, we have resolutions one through 11 on the agenda by resolution number 280-2022 through 290-2022. Like to move them in their entirety. Questions, concern, recusals on these resolutions. I have a, a question. Are we keeping number four on? No, the revised agenda doesn't have it. The oh, numbers. okay. I must. Okay, I must have an over. I'm sorry. So resolution two eight three dash twenty twenty two has been pulled from the agenda. Will not be voted on tonight. Correctly. Well, there's there's a new two eight three point twenty two. Gene, which which one do you have for two eight? I have the one for the Verona construction co code. No, no okay. Wrong. That one was okay. pulled. Okay. Our 283 oh, 2022 is still on. Okay. Anyone else questions, concerns, recusals? Hearing and seeing none, do we have a motion to move these 11 resolutions? So moved. Second. Fishman Tolley, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Hearing and seeing none. Next, we have the consent agenda. Approval for Patrick Nichols of Recreation to attend the uh, board meeting on October 20, 2022. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Bill Barty, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none. Uh, we have our committee reports. Uh, first mayor's report. I just want to thank everyone for a great day. Uh, for Roseland Day, volunteers, DPW, OEM, police, fire, recreation, especially Mike Kalitti. I drove him nuts, I think, but um, it was a great day. Even though Chris came in second, I mean Councilman Barty came in second. And, um, your daughter has a first place trophy, Emma, and you have the second. Um, uh, besides that, I I have nothing. If I think of anything else, I'll, I'll add at the end. Uh, Finance administration, Councilman Barty. Uh, other than the tax bill presentation, which we'll do in a little bit, the uh, I thought Rosen Day was also a great success, and adding in the cornhole and the pickleball tournaments was pretty cool. So uh, thanks to all the volunteers and everyone that made that day a Great success. Oh. Community outreach. I didn't see Ellen. Community outreach and shared services council. Thank you, Mayor. I have a few things for tonight. Uh, the Roseland and East Hand overshare our health services department. Flu shots will be available for those 65 years and older on Monday, October 24th at the Roseland First Aid Squad community room from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Free registration is required, and you may call 973-888-6035. You will receive an appointment. Please remember to wear a short sleeve shirt so you can get your flu shot and bring your Medicare Part B card. Municipal Youth Guidance High School students will be collecting non-perishable food items for the Roseland Food Bank, the Caldwell West Caldwell Food Bank, and Our Lady Blessed Sacrament Food Bank on Sunday, October 30th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The students will be outside of ShopRite in West Caldwell. Other upcoming community projects by the students include Roseland's Holiday Tree Lighting Festivities, Boxes for the Military, the New Jersey Food Bank in Hillside, and Roseland's Easter Egg Extravaganza, Extravaganza with dates to be announced. The Roseland Junior Women's Club has two projects coming up. The fifth grade Halloween dance, which everyone's looking forward to, for Roseland students in public and private school will be held on Friday, October 28th in the auditorium of Our Lady Blessed Sacrament Church. The uh, dance will be from 7.30 to 9 p.m. There is a registration form on the Melliker website and the Roseland Borough website. There will be a DJ, snacks, refreshments, and a costume contest. The Roseland Junior Women's Club is also collecting a winter clothes collection for men, women, and children from October 26th through November 5th. Items needed are new and gently used winter coats and jackets, sweaters, hats, scarves, gloves, and sweatshirts. 
New underwear and new socks are also needed and are two of the most requested items at the shelters. A collection box is located at the Roseland Library and the clothes will be distributed to Tony's Closet in Montclair and Our Lady of the Valley Church in Orange. The Roseland Public Library will hold their second annual North Pole Holiday Vendor Fair on Saturday, November 19th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And again on Sunday, November 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. <laughs> there will be approximately 35 vendors, food trucks, the trackless train will be there again and more. Save the dates and come out and do some early holiday shopping. I see that pickle, our pickleball courts are getting a lot of use and everyone is having fun. I recently saw an article about pickleball and how it may have started. <clears throat> In 1965, three fathers tried to get their children interested in playing some other sport. So they got a wiffle ball, ping pong paddles, and a badminton net and made up some rules. The name pickleball may have come from their dog Pickles, who was always running after the wiffle ball. How true this is, I don't know, but I did read it somewhere. Um, there may be some other explanations. Um, let's see. Tomorrow night. Please support our Roseland Boosters. If you go to Frank Anthony's restaurant in Verona, 10% of your bill will go towards recreation programs in Roseland. And one final message, October is Pre Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I urge both men and women to have exams. If you look across the street at Barrow Hall, our Barrow Hall is bathed in a pink light for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, one more thing. Roseland First Aid Squad had 162 calls year to date, and through October, they've had six. The First Aid Squad and the Fire Department is always looking for volunteers. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank there you. you um, <laughs> if I could interrupt um, for community outreach, we have our liaison to the county, Dan Silvante, here. He was in yeah. camouflage, so we didn't see you back there, Dan. We like <laughs> But Dan could be on his way. Thank you, Mayor. Greetings from our county executive, Phil DiVincenzo. I do have some announcements I'd like for all the residents of Roseland to be made aware of in the county. We have our annual dog strut your mutt contest for pet animals that's going to take place on Saturday, October 22nd in Branchbrook Park, also on October 29th at Brookdale Park. Also on October 29th at Cedar Grove Park. Parade start at 9 a.m., 9.30 p.m. and a.m., I'm sorry. And the registration is at 9, 9 a.m. Gardens of Glow will take place this Friday evening from 6 to 9 at Presby Memorial Irish Gardens in Montclair. We also have our Safe Halloween event, which will take place on October 31st from 4 to 8 p.m. at Turtleback Zoo. A general mission is $5. Also on November 5th and 6th, we have our open house at Riker Hill Art Park. And starting in the middle of November, our annual holiday light display will open at Essex County's Turtle Back Zoo. Mayor, as always, if there's any need from the county, please give me a shout out and we'll do everything we can to help you. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Move along with our committee reports. We have redevelopment legal counsel and fish. Yeah, I uh, thank you, Mayor. I would also like to thank everybody who participated in Roseland Day and helped it make. Uh, become a really good success, and we look forward to um, many more. Uh, I would especially like to thank uh, the group of pickleballers who came out to participate in the tournament because it was really successful. And um, as Michelle said, those uh, pickleball courts are getting uh, a lot of good use. There's uh, very rarely a time when they're not in use, and that's really a joy to see. Especially when other towns are coming here to take pictures. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Um, our senior society meetings are on Fridays at noon this week. Uh, the meeting um, at the meeting, we will have a speaker from RWJ Barnabas Health. The topic is sleep, how to get to sleep and how to stay asleep. Um, and that's it for me, Mayor. Thank you, Council. Uh, Public Works Councilman Fried is not with us, but Councilman Tolley or Councilman Brody, anything to report from Public Works? No, I don't have anything. 
uh, Public Safety, Councilman Pryor. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I also would like to thank everybody who helped to make Roseland Day such a huge success, but I want to mostly thank the residents because without them, our, our events wouldn't be successful. Um, I'm going to start off with OEM. For the month of October, the auxiliary police have conducted a total of 40 hours of service at no charge to the borough. That included Roseland Day, No Weckers, Halloween Dance, and traffic detail at Our Lady of Blessed Sacrament. For the fire department, um, they had some events that they attended. September 9th, they participated in our, our final concert series. And on September 24th, they participated in Livingston's 100th year anniversary. For the month of September, the department has responded to 11 arm, alarms, which equates to 89.42 man hours. So far this year, the fire department has responded to 166 alarms as comparison to last year at 146. Um, I would also at this time like to congratulate Lieutenant Maglio on his retirement. Um, I would like to thank him for his many years of service and he will be missed. And that's all I have for tonight. Thank you, Councilman Brennan. Uh, Recreation Council Control. Okay, so like I mentioned before, kickball is still going on. We have a few weeks, three weeks after that, I believe. Uh, soccer seasons are gonna be wrapping up soon too, um, but going well. Cross country's done, Mike, or they're still going too, right? All right, so cross country's still going through. So all the fall sports are in full swing. Uh, but we are getting ready for winter, trying to get ahead of, uh, of the curve on registration. So please register for basketball. Uh, we brought back for, uh, I think back, right? You guys had it back in the day, the Little Dunkers program. Uh, but it's been a while. So we have a little K to two year olds, uh, second graders, I mean, playing basketball, which I'm sure is interesting. Um, but we're happy to have that. We're happy we're to using that. Yeah, we're going to be using um, uh, Superintendent Leone's here, but we have a uh, Hopefully carved out some good space. Uh, we have a little more time available at the Sergio gym. So I think we'll be able to fit everything in that we want. We have a couple of things that I'm not going to bring up that we want to get, but we'll see what happens after we do the regular basketball schedules and see if there's a time that we can bring something back in the evening for the reason I brought that up was adults. Thanks, Superintendent Leo. Oh, hey, absolutely. <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air. I was going to get to that. I was going to get to that, Mayor Spangler. You know, you thank you. stole my thunder there, but thank you. Um, <laughs> for too much. Get me take we and move on. Uh, also, uh, upon a community passes the registration for crafts for kids program. Well, I forgot one, but it's cute little arts and crafts thing that's available out there um, for grades K to three. Um, and also, when I was going to thank Superintendent Leone, is that the trunk or treat event is back on, and we're using the uh, No Ecker parking lot again, which is much easier to use than Harrison and having to block everything off. Um, and that is on uh, October 29th from 12 o'clock to 1:30, and you have to pre-register to you know, decorate your car and do all that stuff. Otherwise, the only, I know it's a little early. The rain day is that Sunday, the 30th. Is it too early? I know it's not like Halloween yet, so can we mention Christmas. the date for the Christmas oh, spectacular? Yeah. I've been planning Christmas since July. I'm, I'm aware, that's why I don't know if you want to announce it or if I was, the, I'm just gonna give the date. I won't give any details, all right? The date is going for hometown Roseland Christmas event is gonna be uh, December 3rd, the Saturday. If you haven't been there, it's a it's a great time. Roseland Day is an awesome day, but Christmas is really uh, you know the, the shining star. In June and say, let's talk about Christmas. Yes, it's not, yeah. always interesting. Um, and thank you for Ms. Tolley for mentioning the Maras uh, uh, event going on tomorrow night to uh, help the recreation boosters. Not Maris. I'm sorry, Frank Anthony. I was confused. I'm sorry, my bad. Yes, right on Bloomfield Avenue, Verona, uh, and also a uh, reminder that the Mayor's Ball is going on. Uh, this Saturday, there's still tickets available. Uh, it's at the Hanover Manor, and you can find it on the town website, right? Uh, also, my final thing, we are going to be trick-or-treating soon, and Roseanne does Halloween right. That section of town over there behind Fairchild is one of the you know highlights of moving here, unless you live in that section of town, I guess. <laughs> um, but everyone else really loves it, so uh, thank you for everyone that lives there <laughs> that puts up with that, and um, just be safe out there and, and you know, be a Good citizens like always that's all i have mayor thank you and uh director matthias is with us. we're going to do some more soft closures in that area on halloween to try to keep it safer for the kids limit vehicular traffic um everyone for soccer uh we're gonna go
go backwards here and um, bring up the girls sophomore third and fourth grade uh, Roseland Spirit champions. Come on up, ladies. <laughs> Must be a trillo on the team. There was. <laughs> Oh, please, I have to do the four things. Say, oh, yeah. Call, bring the coaches up. Uh, head coach, there's a lot of coaches. I, I know, I'm going to get to that. <laughs> head coach is, is Moose Trillo. Ass assistant coaches, Janelle Cleary. You bring a Division One soccer player on there. Right? <laughs> CJ DeMarco, runs his own soccer club. Pat Malbach, Pat McGovern, Julie Marks. Jamie Penaluza, you're all here. Come up. I'm going to the board. Come on. So I'm going to I'm going to mention all the players. So we have we have Claire Cleary, Faith and Demarco, Peyton Demarco, Reagan Kelly, Nicolino Martino. Gracie Malbach, Olivia McGovern, Ashley Mirabel, Juliana Penaloza, London Scholl, Leah Sturcio, Ariana Trillo, and Sienna Ventola. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13 players, seven coaches. The best coach to play, right? I coached softball for my daughters last year. I was alone. Mike had to come help me coach. But Moose gets seven people to come out and coach with him. Congratulations, girls. You were very, very well coached. You had a very good year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Undefeated. Everybody <laughs> 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 She wasn't the. I mean, she put on a paper, but it was the journal. It, it was it was spread out. Can <laughs> lose it? Only has the finest. We'll just give it a couple seconds for everyone to clear out because nobody wants to watch our tax presentation. <laughs> it's the most exciting part of the night. <laughs> Yeah, still has to explain why you bailed on people. All right, Mike, Hi, thank Mike. you. Better than his. Is that all we have left is a textual presentation? Uh, we have our second round of public comment. Oh, great. It's five minutes here. Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll stay on the on the same page. Uh, next, we have our October approval of our October eleventh caucus and executive session minutes. We we'll received the minutes. Mm -hmm. Questions, concerns, recusals. Okay. Hearing, seeing none, do we have a motion to approve the minutes? Motion. No second, Philip. 
Totally true. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. Now we'll go back on the agenda under presentations to number eight. Turn it over to Councilman Barty for our tax bill presentation. I will move my head to get out of here. I'm going to look backwards here. I'm happy to see look. <laughs> All right, so good evening, and um, this is the most exciting part of the evening. We're going to go through the 2022 tax bill presentation. See the room cleared out here. Um, so, um, so this year, um, this is just a recap. Uh, you know, we, we did our, our budget presentation earlier in the year. And now that we have all the final numbers in from the um, from the county and from the schools, uh, we can officially issue our tax bills. The tax bills actually did go out two weeks ago, uh, and taxes are due on November first with a ten day grace period. I'm sure, I got that right. Um, so, really, if you, if you look at um, you know our, our budget and how we got to our um, our tax rate. Uh, we have our total appropriations, which we subtract from our total revenue, uh, which includes our library uh, tax. And then that gives us an amount to be raised by taxation. We then take that number, we divide it by the, all of our assessments um, in, in, the, in the borough and multiply it by 100. And that gives us a rate of 0.613 for our municipal taxes. The, uh, what does this really mean? If you break this down, uh, the 0.613 is a one point. Four three percent, which equate uh, increase, which equates to forty one dollars and seventeen cents for uh, per household for a um, well for average household for the municipal portion of the tax bill. Um, and basically, what we do is, if you, you know, just to get the the average taxes per for the household, we multiply the average assessed value, which is four hundred sixty eight thousand eight fifty nine eighty five cents uh, in the borough times the tax rate, and then we divide it by hundred, and when you comes out to approximately two thousand eight hundred. And six three dollars and forty four cents per household for municipal taxes. Um, if you look at then how this is spread out across, um, really across that, you know, for, for your for to get your total tax bill, um, you can uh, see that here. I'm not going to go over all the numbers here, but the municipal taxes are about twenty six point two six percent of our uh, of our tax bill. So we only really control that portion here uh, through this governing body. Uh, no worker school taxes came in this year at a 1.87% increase. Next slide. West Essex came in at a 0.6% increase, so a lot lower, I believe, than last year, right? And then uh, West, Ess West Essex, uh, our allocated portion, you know, when, it, when, you, when, you, when you take into account their allocation for Roseland, it's actually... 2% uh, total for us yeah. increase. Essex County, although uh, the budget came in, in flat um, or, the, or there was no uh, taxes raised through taxation uh, due to our assessments, uh, we are opposed that we are, uh, have a 2.27% increase from Essex County. And if you look at the summary here, the, um, you know, if you break this all down, it, it, it turns into a 0.032% total change in taxes. And then Last slide that equates to around one hundred and fifty four dollars and ninety four cents per household. Um, and um, yeah, and and that's, um, you know, that, you know, if, if you look at, you know, everything that's going on in the economy right now and, and inflation and everything else, I mean, it's a nominal number for all the services that we get here in Essex County, in Roseland and at our at our local schools. So uh, I'd like to thank the the bar, the, the, the council, the mayor, Maureen. Uh, for uh, for for taking it for going through all this this year, and uh, we look forward to another successful year. That's good. Thank you. I'd like to thank yeah. not only Councilman Barty but the whole governing body. We are adamant about keeping taxes reasonable as they can be. Seeing what's going on, like you said, with the economy and inflation, it's a little bit higher than we would have liked, but it's still a very low number for what we provide. And if you look at neighboring communities and what their tax increases mm -hmm. in it, 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 it puts it even even better perspective. And it goes down to responsible government and, and hard work, which everybody in this council does. Every time we sit there for three, four hours on a Saturday morning in the winter, some towns spend one day, we spend four weekends on it, and some towns don't pass their budget till October. We always do it on time and responsibly, and it everyone should be um, commended for that. So thank you for working as a group. Um, I believe we are on to, I'm sorry, anyone on the council have questions, concerns about the, the tax? No, lift it. So. <laughs> uh, next is our second round of public comment. Any member of the public wishing to be heard, come forward, state your name and address for the record. If you're with us via Zoom, use the raise your hand icon. If you're with us telephonically, press star nine. OK. 
Okay, no one here for a second round of public comment. We do not need additional executive session. Uh, that being said, do we have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Hello, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Wake up the recording. Yeah. Mm -hmm.